recapping for team 3637, and I'm going to teach you how to clean up a battery acid spill. The first thing you need to do is make sure your team has a proper battery acid spill cleanup kit. This kit should contain neoprene gloves, safety goggles, a chemical resistant apron, acid resistant shoe covers, baking soda, kitty litter, a bucket with a lid, a broom and dustpan, and plastic bags. Make sure everyone on your team knows the cleanup procedure, and it is recommended that you create instructions. Ours is taped to the front of our bucket for quick access. Batteries contain sulfuric acid, which is highly corrosive. If it comes into contact with your skin or eyes, it can cause burns or other irreversible damage. If you do happen to get sulfuric acid on your skin, wash with water, and then apply a piece of baking soda and water to ensure neutralization. If it comes into contact with your eyes, flush with lukewarm water for at least 30 minutes. If you are wearing contact lenses, immediately wash your eyes and do not remove your lenses to ensure safety. If a neutral saline solution is available, use it as soon as possible after flushing. Immediately call for medical help from a poison control center or hospital. The batteries you use in first robotics are non-spillable, but they may get cracks in them if dropped, causing them to leak. If this happens, avoid all direct contact with the battery and the spill. Oh no, a battery spills! Step one, make sure the area is clear and inform others of the spill. Make sure the person cleaning the spill is wearing proper safety equipment, neoprene gloves, safety goggles, a chemical resistant apron, and chemical resistant shoe covers. Spread the baking soda on acid, battery, and surrounding areas. This will neutralize the acid. Go from the outside in to prevent further spreading. Use more than you think you will need as there is no such thing as too much. It is better to be safe than to worry about wasting. Make sure gloves are on and place it in a plastic bag. Make sure the bag is sealed tightly. Place it in the bucket. Spread more baking soda on the ground to cover the area where the baking soda was. Step six, pour kitty litter on the spill to absorb extra fluids. Sweep up the baking soda and kitty litter with a broom and dustpan and pour the residue into a bag. Seal the bag tightly and put it into the bucket. Rub baking soda between your gloves over the bucket to absorb any excess acid. Remove gloves without touching the outside, like so, and place in another bag. Seal the bag tightly and put it in the bucket. Close the bucket tightly. Step 11, dispose of battery and waste as soon as possible at a hazardous waste drop off. Now you know how to clean a battery acid spill. Make sure your battery acid spill cleanup kit is kept in your workshop at all times and to bring it to your competitions. Stay safe out there.